Hey love, so my last video of the night, if you watch this, how I made my own headscarf um, in about 30 seconds for less than $5 or $5, um, yeah, now it's time to do my high puff. So, I'm going to take this scarf off, and I know my head looks funny, right? <laughs> but uh, that's my donut under here. And then I got a stocking cap on as well. So I have like a few twists in my head. And I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Now these curls won't be defined because I just randomly did uh, these twists yesterday. So I'm going to move up. And usually after a week of wearing wigs, scarves, whatever, uh, I'll just take out my twist or braids. This is actually a braid that goes into a twist but um the braid is not even like these were done so loosely yesterday just so I could throw my wig on so yeah I've been using Hairfinity uh, try not their shampoo conditioner and oil and I really do like it um, my hair still feels soft I think I washed it like a week ago so yeah I'm just gonna take all these twists out Okay, so basically my hair is completely out of the braid twist. <laughs> now I'm going to find my shoestring real quick. So uh, all I use really is some Eco Styler, some water, um, a brush, my shoestring, and an um, a afro pick or pick. Um, sometimes I use edge control, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I use moisturizer, sometimes I don't. For the sake of the video, I will show, I guess, the everything, glitz and glam, whatever. So this random black shoestring I got from a pair of shoes, I suppose. So um, what I do is make sure uh, all the braids are completely out. And um, that also helps to stretch your hair throughout the week or two weeks, however long you keep it in. And, um, you know, so you can have a more, I guess, voluminous puff rather than if I did it on wet hair, it would just, you know... It wouldn't be to my liking. I like a, a light fluffy puff. I'm going to take my spray bottle. This I had this for so long. I got some new ones and I still go back to this one. So yeah, it is what it is. So I'm just going to spray the perimeter. People don't like, you know, people think that uh, water automatically reverts your hair and causes shrinkage. When in all reality, your water, I say your water, your hair needs water, you know, just to be moisturized. And so you can have, I guess, a better, healthier looking puff rather than, you know, a dry one. And, you know, don't need to mistake dry for a certain texture of hair because I can spray water and moisturize and my hair is still 4C. So it's not going to be all, you know, loose curls and shiny. Um unless I do like a twist out with some Eco Styler or Bam to Knot Out or put Eco Styler directly on my hair. So now that we have that part, now what I do is take my Eco Styler, take my brush, and I can't open it because my hands are wet. Okay, I got it. I just dip my brush right into there. I have like a lot on here, but if you're gonna do this every day you don't really need that much because it's just gonna cake up and build up 
but I'm washing my hair tonight, so it's all good. While my hair is moist from the water, I use a moisturizer. This one is actually Sweet Talk Hair Butter by Shavy Natural. Looks like this smells amazing. I love using it. And my two of my nails came off, so it's easy to get it. And it's like a moussey texture. So, got that. And... It smells so good. So then what I'm going to do is take my shoestring and put it on like that. Bring it around the back. I'm not going to tie it. I'm just going to cross it. Um, and then... I just pull it as tight as I want it. Come back around. Still not tying it, just crossing it. Bringing it back and tying it in the back. I'm just going to do a knot. I don't do a bow. And then I tuck the strings. So it's really just like that. And then what I'm going to do is take my pick and fluff it out. What I do is take my pick and fluff it out. You can stop right here if you want. You can lay your edges if you want. It's all up to you. Sometimes I don't lay my edges because I know they're just going to be unlaid, I guess. You know, after, I guess, a day of walking around campus or day of activities, errands, etc. So you shape the puff to your liking. I typically like it to look voluminous all the way around and yeah I just play with it this is by the way silk elements I love this edge control it seems to be like one of the only ones to hold me all day you know if I'm not doing anything strenuous so I don't put too much and I don't know my toothbrushes so I've actually not have not been using it I've just been using like my regular brush And then and I put a little in the back just to hold me. But sometimes I like you know the little curly curls that form back there. But yeah. I'm gonna take my brush and just go over like, I'm not doing anything crazy, you know, like the wavy baby hairs and all of that other stuff. Like, no, I'm pretty simple. So, that is it. This is how I achieve my pup. And, yeah. Some days it's bigger, some days it's smaller. As long as it's up and looking nice to me, I'm fine. So thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that is the final overview. I did adjust the brightness on the camera. I guess I shouldn't have waited till last minute to do that. So you guys can see, I guess, my hair texture, 4C. 
but it has like a natural sheen and it's really cute it's not over the top not extra and it's really simple to do so that's it again thank you guys so much for joining i hope you enjoy